to the minute halves. After that, it is the two-goal advantage. Liz, more than 100 tests played between these two sides. Only the fourth time in overtime and never the first time ever in the World Championships. And it's the second time in just under 12 months. So I thought that that last quarter was really scrappy from both teams. So to win this game, the teams are just going to have to take a deep, big breath and settle down like we are going to have to, Kel. Who's going to win it? Well, I have a little green and gold beating heart, so I'd like to say Australia, but it's going to be an albiter. Casey Williams, the captain of the Silver Ferns, battling injury. Her left calf is heavily strapped, but she's going to battle her heart out to the end. Let's return to the Singapore Indoor Stadium and our host commentators. Good start for Anna Scarlett. Pittman under a bit of pressure to get that ball away. It just didn't have enough on it. And they're lucky to hold on to possession, New Zealand. Having to work. Contact rule defence. Yeah, Corletto just backing into Van Dyke. And that's off the Australian centre pass. So it can be no tighter. Look at the shooting stats. 85-84. So much even. And that's awkward. Now that's fine for Casey Williams. The ball can go anywhere in the court so she can lean on it. Hmm. Yeah, that ball oh, has that to be pass. let go because it's there now. <laughs> but Dyke oh, having shoe problem. Let's have a look at this. Naaman checks the back space. A little slow on the release. It gives Coletto time to get up and make the challenge. But Irene Van Dyke running out of room, running out of shoe. They've had a few shoe problems. The third, Timmy Parra George, Williams, now Van Dyke. But they need a bit of glue in there. TK Air waits. Langman gets, uh, gets tripped up by the ball. Good snatch from Bassett, the two on one being set up by the Silver Ferns. And very cool from Midhurst, just bringing that ball back a little bit closer to it. Just over four minutes running in this first batch of seven minutes. And that loose from Van Dyke, but offside. that away. Offside call, so pass only here for two. Contact key pass. Two, yeah, and Contact call. Catherine Williams, what do you see? Well, the defenders of the Australian team, they've got it right. They're backing into Van Dyke because they know Tute is looking for the off but as is, they're causing the contact, so they've got to ensure they keep that clean if that's going to be their strategy. So turnover here for Leela. Happened in the past, have then thrown the ball away. Like that. What a sign of the pressure. Right in front of the coach. Good ball, good vision from Coletta. Freeze and match. Bass is a little set off a strong position. That's but it. Pittman reading it well, guiding Bass where base is. 49 of these. George, they've used that pocket a lot today. Again, George offers to Taye where she wants it. Yeah, nice work, Van Dyke. Not a good shot, but a penalty. Laura Geitz appealing to Dalton Hines that the ball's being pushed forward into her arms. Not happy with the call. A little ungracious, the call then from Gary Burgess. Called the wing defence and then called the goal defence. And then said, you. 
Again, Gerard keeping uh, Trevor Parra George out of first phase play, making around the kilometres and earned a key in this one. And again, Wings being put on touch, perilously on close to offside. Guy's a little rattled perhaps from the last call, is riding the body hard, just needs to come half a step. Use a lift feed around the ball. Yeah, yeah back back getting a good whack goal from Corletto. Fair contest though, she's going for the ball. So 100 goal come up in this game. 101 in fact. Bragdon from Methurst, a take for Bassett. Yeah, that was fun play for Australia. And certainly one of the quickest goals we've seen in this game. And plus both teams know they need to attack the ball. The temptation then is to be out looking to forward ball, but they look work behind Williams. They're yeah, beautifully strong. And Catherine Harvey Williams again. Irene Van Dyke in the position well. She is having one of the games of her life. She's had a lot of games, as we know. She's standing firm. The battle of the goal shooters, Caitlin Bassett, will lose. She certainly made a name for herself here this afternoon. Yeah, Grasshopper plays mentor. Debutant up against the veteran, a contrast. And the roar goes around stadium. Williams just getting ahead, tipping out of court. You need to start. Circle. Side, stay out yeah, circle. Yeah, you are centre. <laughs> yeah, imperious. Amazing confidence from Caitlin Bassett to hold her inside foot and juggle the ball, fingertip control. She's grown in leaps and bounds since coming on at half time. I guess that's what grasshoppers do. <laughs> And that is the end of the first period of extra time. And we still can't split these two teams after the first half of extra time. Seven minutes to go, Liz. Every possession counts. Where is this championship going to be won? Well, it's going to be won in the goal shooter position for either team. Irene Van Dyke has kept New Zealand in this game. Caitlin Bassett has brought Australia back into the game. Massive test also for both goalkeepers, Scarlett and Geitz. Who will win? Will it be double extra time? Let's return to the action. 8,000 fans in full voice in the Singapore Indoor Stadium. Oh, that's lovely work, Van Dyke. Yeah, nice change up for Irene Van Dyke. Slips the base cut, couple of strides, good post position. And that's a poor feed. Scarlett will gather that. Timothy Parra, George. Oh, poor pass and great work again. It's Corletto. So Catherine, it's going every which way. Yeah, if things just working in Australia's favour, that was a soft feed in there by George and Coletta came through nice and strongly. We talk about Casey Williams being lame, but if my memory serves me correct, 2006 she played with something like a broken ankle, a broken leg, Jenny. So, shades of Colin Leeds perhaps playing with the broken arm. Holding wing attack. She'll need to do something special here today because at the moment New Zealand are chasing. Tito here thinks about the big one. Vantage offside in defence. Holding, keeper, pass a shot by her side. Van Dyke just flicks that down for Tito here to come round and pick up. That's it. And the offload again. Yeah, Tito here no longer defense, wanting structure. to risk the longer shot. Yes. Instruction. Sensible play. Van Dyke, 33 from 34 at 97%, the most dominant course. On tackling defence. Jolene Henry, 13 contacts. Long shot for Meadows, it doesn't fall. This time, can New Zealand capitalise? Again, Coletto out to threaten. Got called. Today Air does the business. Well, it was worth a try, Julie Coletto. She knew the importance of not allowing the Silver Ferns to score off the Australian centre. It now sets up the opportunity for New Zealand to establish this game with a two-goal break. Look at the contest from Von Burdo. She's so quick. Vantage contact, wind defence. Contact on the ball, goal defence, penalty New Zealand. She's a great player, Coletto. And that's a great shot, and it's a good time for Tutayer to get that radar going. 
New Zealand scored the last three. Australia need this. Great, great pressure from Henry then. Arms over the feet of Pittman. Holds up the Australian vision to the circle. It delays their progress. Throw in Medhurst. She'll have something up her sleeve. Obstruction, Scarlett. Too close. So it'll move on court. Williams holds the post for it. So we're in a very similar position. We were in regulation time. One goal up for New Zealand. Just over three minutes remaining in extra time. What contrasts the two benches, the Australians top of screen on their feet, willing this home. The Silver Ferns seated and composed. The Australian bench going off. They know this is an opportunity that could well turn the match. Huge defence from Australia. Forced the held ball. 14 turnovers, New Zealand. That's what's cost them. Just 12 from Australia. Australia going back, but this is good play. They've got time. Time's not an issue. No worries about resetting as long as Bassett's at the end of the play, and she is. Scarlett just proving a little costly in the closing minutes. So now the momentum with Australia. Centre pass to come. And if they score with it, the lead. Fucking ball attack. Eight days of netball, tired players, everybody knowing they need to keep up a full court defence, and that was a tired obstruction call against Maria Tutair. And so important the clock Round now because five. your decision of when to use the ball or not can affect the outcome. Slow it down Great straight lead. to post. Not good enough though from Scarlett. Now real pressure here for New Zealand to score. And this is terrific work from Australian defence. New Geitz Zealand is... battling to get it down the court. Geitz is roaming around Van Dyke trying to confuse the feeding space. Now Coletto's got... got eyes up for the intercept. The shot short, but it's into the hands of Van Dyke. Yes. As we approach the final minute, 57 all. Australia in the box seat. With the pressure on Australia to convert. Pressure you don't feel in normal time, but in extra time to convert your centre is so important. Every pass with a weight of decision on it. Too much on it. This is huge. It's out over the back. The New Zealand bench now on their feet, but they've got to get it down court. We said this before, possession is everything. Yet another swing. Tutayer, will she shoot or will she offload? It misses! Well, Away come Australia. This could well be the match. New Zealand will do all they can to hold them up. Matt Bomberto with that feed will be very careful with the next ball. This will be the game. Look at the face of Caitlin Bassett. The world netball crown stays in Australia. The Diamonds avenge the Commonwealth Games defeat in Delhi. Back-to-back -back world titles for Australia. New Zealand fall at the final hurdle in Singapore. And I think somewhere at the bottom of that pile is the grasshopper. What a moment for Caitlin Bassett. What pressure for the young shooter. And what a full performance from the Diamonds using their bench well. Norma Plummer has to be acknowledged for smart interchanges. The Silver Ferns, magnificent in defeat as we've come to expect and so many times we're left in a position of saying almost 